you have this idea of an industrial robot as something mysterious and dangerous. We wanted to change that. It needed to be a companion instead of a competitor. People thought we were dreamers and they didn't take us seriously. Today it's clear that we were right all along. We've grown up from a, from a little startup in Denmark into a global business. Now we're taking the next step. We're developing a new generation of cobots. You cannot achieve success without the right tools. 18 years ago, we created something completely new. But to support our customers reach the greatness they aspire to, we had to reinvent the way we design our cobots. And that's what we did. This is how the new generation was born, with the UR20. We actually started out with the idea to build the cobot on the existing joint architecture. Um, but we soon learned that this was almost impossible to reach the same type of performance and stiffness and long reach that we really wanted to have. So we knew that in order to build a really high-performing product, we need to go with a completely new joint architecture and start from scratch. We started with a completely blank whiteboard and said, OK, how do we want to produce the robot of the future? Saying something that is not possible, that, that's just fuel under fire for an engineering team like this. And that means they will just push on and, and find the, the solution. So the, the bigger the problem is, the harder the problem and the challenge is, the better for us. So the inspiration uh, for the UR20 actually came from visiting several type of customers. So we were looking at the production lines and trying to understand um, where can we make a difference. I've never seen so many customers coming in and out giving us feedback. We have visited their places, we have seen how they use them. So we could take all that knowledge together with them, testing and trying it out to create something that hasn't been there before. Doing such a big product is not just drawing on a piece of paper, it's being together with the machines, being together with the joints and trying to understand them, and then try to add the design on top of that. Within the UR20, we use around 50% less parts than we do on our previous products. That's great for the customer and the end user in the long term, because it means that there's actually less parts to fail. It's designed from day one to be fully automatically assembled because if you build a, a component that is fully automatic, you just get better quality. I'm actually tomorrow installing a UR20 that's going to be building UR20s, which is, I think, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. You know, I, I can feel confident because I know the software running on it. It's the same safe software that we're running on all the other robots. We have hundreds of engineers and developers just dedicated to developing and maintaining Polyscope. And our next gen user interface, Polyscope X, is, is the next natural iteration. For the operator, it's, it's very tangible. The UR20 is an engineering masterpiece. It's just an engineering piece of art, as I would like to describe it. From a UX point of view, from a mechanical point of view, from an electronical point of view, there's nothing that has not been thought through. There's been so much energy, there's been so much hard work put into it that to finally see the first shippable product, everybody in the production was just like, whoa, we did it, we did it. I was relieved and happy. <laughs> Ecstatic, actually. Seeing it with the customer, seeing it out there in the world is really like, it's undescribable. It's not describable what that makes you feel. Working on those challenges and especially overcoming the challenges 
that just brings a smile on everybody's faces. And I cannot wait to see uh, the great innovation from our customers once they have these capabilities of the new products. The original motivation has always been to create a cobot that is safe to be around with. So we wanted to create something that is built around people. And we succeeded.